All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here in my home office, and uh, this is probably a view that you've not seen before. As a matter of fact, I know it is because I've never had the camera shoot in this way. But you guys are absolutely in so much trouble, it's not even funny. Because I went out and I bought myself one of those screen recording apps to where I can show you what is on my computer screen, and we can talk about stuff like ballistics, and ballistic coefficient, feet per second, and all kinds of cool stuff. Why are we here and why did I do this? Well, I wanted to address some of the questions that we had earlier concerning the six millimeter arc. I'm gonna show you something. You know, see that right there? One of those is a 6.5 6 Grendel and the other one is a six millimeter arc. What's the difference between those two, three? All right. What's the difference between these two? Well, you think about it. One's a 123 grain bullet and the other one's a 108. Think about that. That's only, what, 15 grains of separation? A delta between 15 grains. It's kind of like shooting a 55 grain and a 77 grain. There's a big difference in the two, but I will tell you, here's where the differences lie. And we're going to talk about this. Why would you want to go with a 6 millimeter arc? Why am I trying to sell this thing? I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just going to show you the facts, and you guys can make the determination all you want. That's the guy, One of the guys asked me, I want to see you do a bad review or review where you're uh, upset or not happy with the rifle. I said, what I do is I shoot the rifle, and if you see it not doing as good as other rifles, well, you can make the determination of, of ammo, that kind of thing. So let's talk about this. The 108 ELD 6mm arc. Well, I took this thing out. I shot it through the uh, CMMG Resolute. I was very happy with it. Uh, accuracy out the 700 yards, hell, the two rounds that I shot at the target were only like four inches apart. Is that a huge determination of whether or not this is a great round? Well, I did the same thing with a 6.5 Grendel. Uh, certainly can do the same thing with a 308. But what I want to show you are some very unique measures. Now, the stuff that I'm getting ready to show you is from uh, Shooter's Ballistics, uh, shooterscalculator.com. A uh, great website, shooterscalculator.com. And what you can do is you can put your bullet, the ballistic coefficient, your feet per second, your environmentals like uh, altitude, barometric pressure, temperature, relative humidity. All of those little things have an effect on where your bullet will hit. You could be down at sea level or you could be at 3,400 feet per second where the speed of sound uh, or where your bullet will go 300 more yards before it uh, goes subsonic. It's pretty interesting. But what I want to show you right here is I have pulled up three tables. I'm going to show it to you. Now, here we go. You have three tables. You can see my cursor right there. This is the 108 ELD 6 millimeter arc right here on the left-hand side. In the center, we have the 123 grain, as you can see here, and what I did was, let's just back up for a second. My actual real world feet per second out of a 16 inch barrel, I got 2605 feet per second out of the 108 six millimeter arc. Out of an 18 inch barrel for the 6.5 Grendel, I got 100, 123 grain, we got 2370 feet per second. Now I don't have an AR-10 uh, in 308. I've got one in 6.5 Creedmoor. But I called a very good friend of mine, and what he was getting based on the same altitudes was about 2550 out of a gas gun, not a bolt gun. We're, we're comparing gas guns right now. Okay, making all things equal. I'm sure that if I were to take the 108 and put it into a bolt gun, it would probably get a lot quicker. Same thing with the, the uh, 6.5 Grendel. So what I want to show you real quickly, and this is pretty evident right here. This is interesting. Let's go ahead and bump that up. You can see here the drag coefficient up at the top left hand side is G7. The ballistic coefficient is 0 0.270, bullet weight 105, 2605 feet per second. I'm not worried about the sight height. We did it all the same. Uh, 10, mil, 10 mile per hour uh, wind speed at 90 degrees. And that's basically what we're talking about. That's going to be playing evident here in a few minutes when we talk about this. We're going to talk about muzzle velocity. We're also going to be talking about uh, windage and energy. All right, so first thing I want to show you is the speed of sound. The sound barrier is 1141 feet per second. This bullet will go to 1150 feet or 1150 yards, okay, before it drops to go below subsonic. 
Uh, total, uh, let's see, elevation mills, drop in mills out at 1,000 yards is 10.32. And that's based on that elevation right there in those conditions. Let's go ahead and bring up our next one. This is 123 grain. This is the difference. See right here, the sound barrier at 1140. It only goes to about 975 before that bullet goes subsonic. What does that mean? If you're trying to shoot out past 1,000 yards, that bullet's going to go subsonic and it's going to start distorting. It's going to go through some turbulence, which is going to, it's going to veer off maybe a foot or so. Uh, is that big of a thing? No. I know to the hunters that are using a 6.5 Grendel, Grendel, it doesn't mean a damn thing. But what we're going to talk about here in a few minutes is the energy foot pounds. Now this is the same thing right here. Whoops. Let's go back to the uh, here's the 168 grain at 2,550 feet per second. It'll jump out to a little over uh, 1150, so about 1125 before it goes subsonic. But if we go back to the 108, it jumps out to 1175. Now, based on certain elevations, it might shoot out to past 1300 yards, but not according to these calculations right here. All right, so let's bring those back down. We've got all these tables right here. Now, one of the other interesting tables that I want to show you, and this is directly off of shooterscalculator.com. This is the site right here. This is one of the coolest sites that you can ever see. Now, what this enables me to do is I can input all this information. One being right here, the six millimeter arc at that, that feet per second, 308 and the 6.5 Grendel ELD-123 grain at 2370, which is what I got out of my 18-inch barrel. You can see right here, I can enter in the altitude, the temperature, the barometric pressure, and relative humidity. I enter these numbers based on the fact that, well, that's a lot of, that's what we run into a lot in this current environment. As the other day when I was uh, chronoing that round, it was 2605, and these were the existing conditions. We can run our uh, range chart out to 1300 yards as well as we can do it at 50 yard increments right there. Pretty neat stuff. So what does this do for me? Well I can enter all these things and I can determine what round is better for me. Now if you're doing a, a sniper competition I'll tell you what the six millimeter arc is probably one of the ways to go and if somebody uh, recalls uh, somebody made a comment that <laughs> I, uh, are you building something? I bet you're building something. I go, yeah, I am building something. We've got some really unique co contributors that are coming out with some really cool things. And I'm really looking forward to uh, taking those parts and pieces and putting together an upper that is going to be unsurpassed by a lot. Okay, so in green, we have the 6 millimeter ARC ELD-108. In blue, we have the 308. And in orange, we have the 6.5 Grendel. As you can see here, this is the trajectories. We've got the green, that is your six millimeter arc. Look at that. And this, the blue, that is your 308 right there. And in orange, that is the 65 Grendel. Now these are real world feet per second, not some match feet per feet because you're not going to get that in a real world. Uh, if you did, honestly, the six millimeter arc has the highest uh, uh, ballistic coefficient of this whole group probably would outperform them all. But you can take a look at this. Now what we can do is we can go down here, you can create a link to your graph or chart, and this is the beauty of this program, and you can pull it up anytime you want, or you can even share it. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to Shooter's Calculator Ballistic Trajectory Chart, I'm going to copy that and save it down below so you guys can pull it up. All right, so what we're talking about is we have three charts. We have one for the 6 millimeter ELD-108, and that's the chart we were talking about. And then we have the 308, and then we have the Grendel. Now, there's a couple things I want to look at. Let's say we're looking at a target out at 700 yards, okay? We have a 10 millimeter crosswind, or 10 mile per hour crosswind. So what I want to do is I want to come over here. This is the 108 arc. We have 700 yards, all right? Our windage in mills at 700 yards with a 10 mile per hour crosswind at 90 degrees is 1.45. Now let's go down here. I'm going to show you at 700 yards our windage 
Oh, the 308 is 1.55. This is where that ballistic coefficient comes in handy here. It's 1.55. Now, let's look at 700, where the 65 Grendel is 1.81. So what does that mean to me? That means that the 6 millimeter arc is less affected by crosswind, probably because of the muzzle velocity, feet per second. So let's take a look at something else. We have the, this is, a, this is gonna apply for hunters. Now, if you're hunting with a round, I doubt very seriously you're gonna be shooting animals out at 700 yards. But what you can be doing, I get a lot of stuff going on here, you might shoot within that 300 yard mark. So we're talking about energy, foot pounds, right? So at 300 yards right here, we can be looking at 1,019 foot pounds of energy at 300 yards. Let's go up here and look at what a 300 or a 308 is gonna give us. That's going to be 1656 right here. As you can see I'm circling that with my icon, or what do you call it, the cursor. What is the 6 millimeter arc is going to give us at 300? At 300, we're going to be 1127. So those guys that hunt with a 6.5 Grendel, 1127 versus 1019. Right. So everybody's saying, I'll stick with my 6.5 Grendel. I don't think you need to make a change. I'm just trying to show you that the 6 millimeter arc has a better foot-pounds trajectory, uh, terminal velocity, than that of the 6.5 uh, Grendel. Look at that. And these are real world speeds. This is not stuff that we're trying to pretend with. Okay, so muzzle velocity, what are we talking about? At 20, uh, 300 yards, or we're at 2168. At uh, 300 yards with the 308, we're at 2107. And then at 300 yards, we're at 1932 for the 6.5 Grendel. So again, one of the things that I talked to people about, and a couple of folks said, my 6.5 Grendel will do everything that six millimeter will do. Up until a point, most likely, yes. Can you do the same thing? Yes. But in reality, the six millimeter arc smokes that Grendel. A uh, gentleman asked me today, I'm not gonna mention anybody's names, but he was like, will it take an elk? Man, that's a question I can't answer for you. But what I can tell you is will it be, will it hit a target more easy than a 6.5 Grendel? Yes. Now here's the thing, let's go back up here. Um, say for instance, right here, I have a, this is the GLX primary arms set up for the ACSS HUD in 308. <laughs> yeah. So what does that mean for me down the line? I have, and let's look at the table. I have a rifle scope that is real damn close out to a thousand yards with the 308, which means I could probably slap this on that six millimeter arc based on my muzzle velocity and my ballistic coefficient, and this thing will be real close, a 16 inch barrel, all right? Mm -hmm. um, and believe me, I've, Dimitri and I've already taken a look at the, uh, the ballistics on it. So there's some things in the works, guys. So anyway, let's take a look at this. A, a six millimeter on our table, all right, at 700 yards, our mills in elevation is 5.7, right here. If you look at the cursor, I'm circling it. Now at 700 yards, is 6.06. .06. So 5.7, 6.06 is 0.3 mils, maybe, three tenths of a mil. And what you can do with the ACS reticle is you wanna true it out to about 800 yards, especially if you're gonna be reaching out to 1,000. But what that'll do is it will put you on target with any USPSA, um, mid-size USPSA IPSC target there is. So anyway, in conclusion, <laughs> <laughs> like I said earlier, guys, y'all are in trouble when it comes to me now because I've got this recording ability and uh, that's it. So we can be a little bit more technical as well as I can show you some more things from this angle. Um, that's it. The six millimeter art, Hornady. You guys, in my opinion, have really come out with a winner. And believe it or not, guys, I am building an upper that is going to, uh, it's, it's going to be lights out with that thing. And we're probably trying to, if I can, run that at the Sniper's Unknown. Depends on ammunition availability. And that's the issue. Uh, right now, they're getting ready to start their second run of ammo. 
I've got a couple hundred rounds here, but we're going to be looking for some more <laughs> as soon as possible. I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost. I haven't had to buy any as of yet. But we'll find out as things move on. Uh, does this mean the 6.5 Grendel guys need to go ahead and move over to 6mm arc? Uh, I'd say no, not yet. But what I would say is that down the line, if you're looking at the two, 6mm arc is not a bad option to look at. With the terminal ballistics the way they are, the feet per second, the windage, you're looking at a winner. Guys, that's it. If you like this video and you thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I appreciate you guys and your time. And I, let me know what you think about the, uh, the uh, computer stuff. I thought it was pretty interesting to be able to go over this with you. Also, in the future, I'll be able to share some of the things that I do prior to I go out to the range. We can, we can pull up the Hornady site, and it's going to be within a tenth of a mil what this site is. Don't forget ShootersCalculator.com. I'll put the link to this exact table down below so you can see it. Let's go to Boy 32. I am out. Oh, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is never free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.